Okay, so this is a quick overview to show you Photo Buddy, which is the app that I was suggesting shows you how to work out um, your depth of field or the distance that you've got that will stay in focus. So let's have a look, Photo Buddy. And straight in here, this app has all kinds of buttons along the bottom here, uh, different settings, different features it'll do. I'm just staying on depth of field. So right down here in the center is the one that you want. Now the first thing that you do along the top is that this will let me change my camera type and it will then automatically work out whether you've got a full frame or your crop factor. So mine is a 5D Mark III with a crop of one it says there, so there's no crop factor. Um, I'm going to put in Matt's camera here. Matt I was working with doing the baby photos recently and he's got a 60D and his crop factor is 1.6 it tells me there and every time I just I don't need to on that one there we go 70 mil has multiplied that up for me already so my focal length is what it tells me on the lens itself so if I for instance have a 24 to 70 lens and I'm working out at the full range of that I'm at its white at its closest zoomed in at 70 mil um, it's working it out for me now I want to just try out this nifty 50 lens that we've been using and so I change that to 50 and I click up here and that takes me back in. So actually at the 50 mil on the 60D we're actually the effective focal length is 81 mil because that is multiplying it up it's cropping it's zooming in in effect and cropping. Um, so when you think you're shooting at a 50 mil zoom um, it's actually times that up a little bit more and it's 81. So we then adjust our F number. Now this lens goes down to 1.8. So that's what I'm going to try up to start with. Again, back to my depth of field. So camera's in, lens zoom is in on our fixed prime. The aperture at 1.8, subject distance. Now I know on this lens that I can, the closest I can get is 45 centimeters. Um, but I'm going to give myself a little bit of slack here and say we're actually shooting at 50 centimeters. So this is the distance from the end of my uh, lens to where baby is, the, the eye, because you're going to see in a second how specific we're getting. So this is the distance between me back to the baby's eye of 50 centimeters. And this picture at the bottom here now shows me quite what's happening. I need to zoom in a bit so you can see this, but at 50 centimeters away, I can focus, the nearest in focus is 49.7, and the furthest is 50.3 centimeters, which tells me here that I've got a depth of field of a whopping 6.2 millimeters. So when Matt is worrying that he's not getting things ultra sharp in focus, this is a big part of this. You're asking yourself to get um, accurately focused with six millimeters of slack. Now, typically what we do when we're focusing like this is you'll point it, you'll focus it on your subject's face, and then you will press the shutter halfway, focus, and move. And you can see that with just six millimeters of grace here, you've got to be really spot on with that. And it probably makes more sense to change in your viewfinder so your focal point moves and your eye stays in focus on that. So let's play with this a bit. So six millimeters isn't really going to be a lot of use to us. Well, it, it is. Actually, I'm telling you wrong. It's good and bad, isn't it? It's, it's bad in that we've got a lot of, we haven't got a lot of room for error. But the good thing is, is that you've just got six millimeters then and then everything starts to go uh, blurred and people will be amazed at the quality of the image, uh, how professional it looks, that you've been able to get one part pin sharp and very soon you're starting to blur the other bits. Um, and this is, I mean, this is Matt 60D. That's not a cheap camera. It's a new camera, a very nice one. But if I were to use, I've got an old 300D that's 10 years old now. I could put this lens on that. It will still work it out the same for me. And I'm still going to get that similar depth of field from it. Um, and the lens itself is under 80 pounds. So for, you know, n not an expensive setup, really, you can be producing some very professional looking photos. 
Now, let's push this out to 2.8 and see what happens. That's now given me nine millimeters. So it's given me an extra three millimeters. Right, we need to push this out, don't we? Let's try F5. F5 now, that's given me 17 millimeters. So I've got, you know, just over one and a half centimeters. Um, that's not much wider than the baby's eye, is it really? It's going to be sharply in focus. Now keep in mind, this isn't going to instantly, outside of that one and a half centimeters, go blurred. It's a gradient. It's going to gradually slope out, um, but quite quickly it will be out of focus. So let's push that up again. Let's try F8. Good old F8 is going to give us 27 and a half millimeters. Um, so nearly three centimeters on F8. Now bearing in mind, we can't really change a lot else. We can move back a bit if we want to. Um, but we really, I was encouraging Matt on these baby photos, you want to get nice and tight in. Um, yes, you can crop it afterwards in Photoshop or something. That is a good solution. Um, but I'm trying to get all this shot in camera. So F8, F11 gives me nearly four centimeters. Now I probably don't want to go much wider than that anyway. I don't want everything to be in focus. Um, as it's going to look like a, it's been shot with a compact and not really giving you any reason to, you know, want to be on an SLR like this. Uh, you're trying to impress people. They will be blown away by how professional that looks when you when it goes very quickly out of focus. F22 will be the maximum I can do this. Uh, and at F22, I've now got just over seven and a half centimeters, 75 mil. Um, so that's the kind of stuff you're playing with. It's, it's as accurate as that. There's not a lot of room for error, which is why, you know, while baby's asleep and you can um, focus in nicely, take your time, that's great. But if um, baby's moving around a bit, you're going to struggle and you maybe need to pull back a bit from getting those uh, very, very shallow depth of field shots. So that's my quick overview then, having a look at this app, Photo Buddy. Thoroughly recommend you get hold of it. It was free when I got it. Uh, I'm not sure now in the App Store whether you would have to pay anything, but um, well worth it. This is a really good tool for educating yourself and it's good to have on site with you as well if you're trying to work out how much room for area you've got. Hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much.